it guys my name is Kelly and welcome to my home studio today I'm gonna do some things in my happy Nietzsche this is my happy planner half sheets happy Nietzsche and this cover was made by Jojo Zahana I will link her channel below she sent this to me as a gift and I just completely am enamored with it I love it pieces so I am going to do a spread and I have a few things. I have some Wink of Stella pens here, red, gold, brown, and orange. And I have stamps already picked out um, on these stamp blocks. My stays on ink, my Tombow Mono in 0 0.5. And this is the stamp set I'm gonna use. It's called Fall Break by Cartabella. And I've pulled the stamps that I want to use. I got this. No, I'm sorry. It's called Gather Together. This is the Gather Together stamp set. This was hard to get my hands on, too, because it kept selling out. I got it off of scrapbook.com. But the beauty of that website is they restock. So, our styling. I made this charm the other day. Love it. I did a video and a flip through. I decked out my planner for fall, as you can see, and I did an in-depth flip through of this planner. So let's get started. Okay, this week, where are we? Here we go. This is the week that we are going to be working on. Jojo Zahana made this um, dashboard for me and I just added these two pieces of laminated paper just to do a fall vibe effect so we are going to do the week of 9 9 to 9 15 and I've already done the ink backdrops um, with distress ink made by Tim Holtz for the remainder of the year and I made this one, this dashboard, a couple weeks back. Okay. So I'm going to close this beauty up. And my happy Nietzsche is on expander discs. So she is quite the chunky monkey, and I just love her to pieces. So there's that. All right. So let's get going. I think what I want to do is put down a protective surface, which is this Tim Holtz craft mat. And that way I don't ruin my backdrop. Okay. Just like that. And I think we'll just start with stamping. I have picked out several different stamps. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I just, you know, go with the flow of what I feel like doing. And see how it turns out. <laughs> okay. This, I think, I want to be the main one. So, I have my stays on, which is my trusty ink of choice. And I actually think I will do a tester. On the scratch paper. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. That's lovely. I'm going to bring you down a little closer. That is just quite lovely. I really like it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to roll. Let's just go and see what 
we come up with? Okay, that turned out so nice. It is a crap shoot. You never know. If you don't press or you don't get enough ink on your stamp, you never know. Do something a little risque and different. Why not? I think it'll be fun. Just came to me as I was stamping. <laughs> really, that's how I go. I just do what I feel like doing. You know? Like, as far as I know, I knew, all I knew is I wanted to use this stamp set going in, so. Let's just see how this pans out. Could be a disaster, but it could be super duper cute. Okay, I think these turned out cute. Okay, so I decided to do something. And I added another one of these wreaths. And I had already put it away, so I got it back out and I put it on with my hand. This is my finger. And I accidentally pushed in the middle. So I have this Dollar Tree marker. It's a glitter marker. It's the first time I'm using it. it. Took me a while to get it started, but now that it is, I'm going to just cover up you see all that? I stamped it, like I said, pushing down in the middle. So I'm just going to fix this so I can use the space still. Because I want to be able to write in the middle of these. And that's all there is to it. So it's a little faux pas, but hey, I'm working it. Okay, so that's how it is. Good old Dollar Tree marker saves the day. All right. Like, I can't even. And I've been shopping there for over 20 years. So anyway, okay. Back to business here. <laughs> I did pull out these journaling stickers from the Happy Planner. And I'm just going to pick out some dates. Lo and behold, there they are. And, um, I'm going to use these. These are very handy. Um, just going to peel them all off to make it easier for myself. And then we'll go to town. So, there's that. I'm glad these have these days of the week. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of these. So, I really like this book. All right. Back to business. Now, I do not want this to over be overbearing on my layout. So, I might just cut those down. I think I will because, like, I don't want all that extra space on these stickers, you know? Okay, so I'm going to cut these down and I shall return. Okay, so what I've done was I cut the stickers and made them smaller so that they don't overpower my layout. And then I took my Tombow 0 0.5 and wrote in the dates. So, you guys know how to do that. And no one wants to see someone struggling with stickers. At least I don't think so. But anyway, here we go. I saved the fun part. So I thought... I would try to do some fun things. 
So let's get this hard one done first. And as if it came from that side. Okay. I think this is so much fun. All right. Okay, now I want to make sure these guys are connected. As if it came from that side. All right. So they're like vines or twirly whirls. And you can make them any old way you want. Okay? Just like that. Simple as pie. Okay, so then I have all these itty bitty witty weaves. <laughs> yeah, that was a girly voice. That's okay. And I want to use some of them. And I think this will look cute. That's why I left a space there. So it's as though the leaf is falling and it came from there. That is the significance of drawing those little twirly whirls. And I have all different kinds, so. And I can turn this any old way I want, which is the beauty of it. So it's as though these fell from the tree, you know? Cute. And they fell how they wanted to fall. So they're not all going to be the same. And they are going to be in all different kinds of directions. And that is beautiful to me. Okay. There. And I think one down here. Because we can. Why not? And here. And here. No. Which way? Okay. Cute. I just love it. Less pressure is better on this particular stamp since it's teeny weeny. Okay, so it doesn't really take much. Oh, that is so darling. I love it. Okay, so I have a little 
saying right here in the middle. Let's see how big it looks. Hello, fall. It's super cute. So I'm just going, just going to put that right here. Yay! Okay, it turned out. And that's it for that one in particular. Okay, I have a whole bunch of those tiny leaves here, but I have some here too. And these are different. Oh, I think I'm going to test this one for sure. Okay, that's what that looks like. Cool. Oh, beauty. So cute. Yes, please. Mm hmm. I just love it. Okay, so let's continue on with this stamp. Okay, I think that's enough for that size. And yeah, I have a smaller one. There it goes. A few of those here and there, I think will be cute. I can go on and on with these. <laughs> They're so much fun to stamp. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so for the last leg of this layout, I am going to do my coloring. Let's start. I want to start off with the red. Well, actually, I want to start off with the orange. And you shake these. These are my Wink Estella pens. Shake them up. And all I'm going to do is have a relaxing time. And I'm just going to color these. I'm not going to be particularly neat about it. Because that's a little tedious. And... That's not how I roll. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do all of the orange leaves first. And then I will bring you back and show you how it pans out. Then I'll do the brown ones and gold ones and red ones. And I might get some other colors going in the mix. And if I do, I will pull those markers and I will let you know which colors I do end up using. But this is so relaxing and then I can just think and reflect and enjoy the process. Okay, so I did go ahead and use this purple Wink of Stella. I thought that would be fun. I haven't used that one in a while. And let's get this beauty back. I am I just love this planner. I mean, you know that, right? <laughs> it's so cute and so fall. I just can't. Okay, so let's get this back in my planner. Let's see, where are we? I have that covered up for privacy. Okay. We are here, yes. You are here. I need a little directory <laughs> for my planner. Oh, that's hilarious. So. <laughs> Well, there's just so much in it, you know. So, there's that. Okay. There's the snap. 
We all love it. We know we do. More, please. Okay. I think this is totally cute. All right. This was a faux pas. But I fixed that with the Dollar Tree marker, like I said. Um, and I think this is very nice. If I need more room, I can just add in a micro sheet right here. Or I can make my own out of paper, scrapbook paper, whatever. But these are going to be my days of the week. So this is the 9th through the 15th. And I like the fact that I was able to utilize the journal journaling happy planner stickers in here and I love the leaves I love the wreaths those are my days of the week I love the swirly whirl of wind with the falling leaves and the different kinds of leaves that I incorporated so that is everything guys if you like what you saw and you like this video oh my goodness I forgot beauty this is my book marker from Jojo and I just added these two pieces of paper to it. Happy day! And my little coffee clip from the coffee bag of coffee. So I love that. <laughs> I would be remiss if I did not add this. So this is my page marker for the week. So that is everything for real z's this time guys so if you like what you saw i hope you consider subscribing to my channel i hope this motivates you to plan for fall and i hope you have a beautiful day thank you ever so kindly for watching peace out